Hi there, I am Raja Rao. I am lead Zimla developer here at Zimbra. And this is a quick demo of Salesforce and chat of Zimla. Before we move on, if you have never heard of Zimbra, Zimbra is a leading open source email and collaboration suite. We currently have um, about 55 million plus paid mailboxes. And some of our customers include Comcast, Stanford University, HR Block, etc. And for more information, please visit uh, www.zimlet.com. And that brings us to the next question what's a Zimlet? Zimlet is essentially a plugin or an app, uh, but for a Zimbra collaboration suite. And Zimlets are open source and also allows uh, developers to quickly create some really powerful plugins. Okay, so that brings us to Zimlet's objective. Uh, as you know, most people spend uh, most of their time on email platforms and have a, a lot of their customer information in emails, attachments, etc. And because of that, they may not take advantage of the revolutionary chatter as much as they could. So the main objective of the Zimlet is to bring the power of Salesforce and chatter uh, right into the Zimbra platform and, yeah, and then help people take advantage of all the goodies that Chatter and Salesforce offers. Okay, let's see it in action. Okay, you're looking at Zimbra email and once you install Salesforce, it shows up uh, over here to the left. And in order to configure Salesforce account, you simply click on it and you enter your Salesforce information and pressing OK is going to save your credentials. Okay, so once you configure your Salesforce account and let's say you get an email from some contacts and leads that are uh, using the Salesforce, you immediately see that information right within the email. And if you expand it, you will see more information about the contact or lead and you can also view them and edit them and do all sorts of things to these items. Uh, Salesforce bar is very powerful and it also provides a bunch of other functionalities like for example if you want to add a note about this email so just click on add notes and it shows all the contacts and you know related objects and you can also create a brand new contact if it's not available or lead and say if that lead and contacts are already available or if you want to add a case or something you can look it up and then you can include that case for the notes and since this is a chatter demo let me move on so as you can see here you get a link to follow this particular item the beauty of chatter is that you can follow any of the items so you can directly follow any of these um, account contacts or leads right from here okay so that was the uh, first big integration point and let me move on to the second one. Uh, let's say you get an email that has a support case number in it. And the minute you get such an email, uh, we allow us, uh, you to do a lot of things based on that case number. Okay, so let me mouse over on this uh, support case. Okay, so as you can see, immediately you get to see all the details about this particular support case. And you can also uh, send a chat post to this particular support case. So. Let me try it out. The minute I sent it, you can see this number over here became 15 from 14. Okay, so this tooltip also allow offers uh, more functionalities like you can close the case, edit uh, case in Salesforce. You can also change the support cases uh, properties like uh, status, case reason, etc. right from the tooltip. Okay, so let's move on to the big one, the Chatter app itself. So if the minute you click on it, you can see the Chatter app opens. Uh, at a high level, uh, the Chatter app has a multi-wall design so that you could see multiple people's walls and also our favorite account or support case, uh, etc. walls right simultaneously uh, without having to go back and forth. Okay, so let's take a uh, look at the overview to the left over here. So the, at the top you have a home folder and also a profile which is basically your own feeds and also we allow you to filter it based on users and objects because you know a lot of times people don't want to mix account or support case or some other objects information 
with people's information so you could basically click on this and then you know you can open just the users or you can just see the objects so if you see the objects only has uh, right now it only has the account and uh, some lead other information uh, along with that you can also see feeds of just accounts or individual objects like accounts uh, support case contacts etc uh, along with the, those filters we also provide you to only see all those cards that you like and that, that you need so you can close them all out and keep only those things that that you want to see so and we also allow you to mark things as red so you don't have to reread them so for example you can come here and then you can just say mark as red and it uh, basically hides all the all your feeds so that way you can, can kind of keep it clean and while also monitoring the information okay let's see what all we could do within a wall uh, obviously you can send a test chatter and not only that you could say you want to uh, comment to someone else's so you can say this is and other than that you can also say you have this guy here and you want to directly write on his wall so you can just uh, click on that link and you can now uh, write on his wall although you are still using your own wall so now you can see on the third deck over here so this guy also got the message that, that you posted so the other thing obviously you could do is you can directly come here and you can post the chatter. Okay, one final thing I would like to uh, demo is uh, attaching files. So this Zimlet allows you to attach files from com your computer and also you can attach files directly from uh, Zimbra's briefcase you can even attach uh, Zimbra emails and we also have Flickr integrations and stuff so right now it is in, it's not enabled but you could attach photos right from Flickr as well uh, that's pretty much the demo let me see okay so a few notes so this Zimlet is going to be f uh, free and also the support is also going to be free and you can download it from uh, gallery.zimbra.com uh, some other notes uh, you don't need to be a paid Zimbra customer to use this we have a offline Zimbra desktop version and you could uh, download it and you, are, you can also download and install a free open source Zimbra edition and, uh, and also run Zimbra within that as well and that's pretty much it uh, thanks for watching the demo and hope you enjoyed it